Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Before we dive into today's video guys, I want to say a massive welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. The love that I received on my last video was literally overwhelming, you know. Lots of people watched it, lots, lots of people subscribed, liked the video. So yeah, I just, I was just so overwhelmed with all of the love, all of the support. And uh, yeah, I just want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to you guys. Like it really means a lot when you actually work on something, you put your love into it and then you put it out there and people actually seem to love it. It just makes the whole, a whole lot of a difference. So I'm really, really grateful. You are very welcome to the family guys. And I hope that we can continue to grow together. So um, yeah, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. If you've been watching from before, thank you so much as well you know how we roll so yeah thank you so much for your support as well so let's get into today's video guys so i'm going to show you how to make your own leave-in conditioner um using aloe vera now it's, it's actually aloe vera juice um but i'm going to show you basically how to make the juice so you need to have a, an aloe vera plant just like i have here cut yours into like you know smaller pieces so it's easier to work with obviously make sure that you washed it remove the sharp edges and then cut in the middle of the aloe vera just so it can reveal the gel and then um yeah it just makes it easier to remove the gel from it Now you're ready to scrape the gel out so you can do this using a spoon and uh, basically yeah just scrape the gel out of it what i'm doing also is i'm scraping the skin just to get all of the juice out of it pretty much <laughs> so once you have finished uh, taking the gel out you then want to dispose of the skin so you're going to end up with like lumps of gel in the bowl with a little bit of juice as well but you want to blend that just to end up with a nice smooth consistency because if you use it this way you're going to end up with lumps of gel on, on your hair so i'm adding some olive oil here guys i'm adding about a tablespoon um, I didn't actually measure it but I'm quite good at eyeballing stuff but you can actually use a spoon to measure this um, so yeah I'm just adding that to a mixture and then I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and blend it and when you blend it this is the kind of mixture you end up with a nice watery mixture but you still need to uh, extract the juice out of that because at the moment it's mixed with some of the pieces of the aloe vera which you don't want to use like that because it will get stuck in your hair so you can do that using a tea towel like I'm doing here you can use baby wipes or a pair of, of um, uh, what's it called a pair of tights and yeah basically just use that to extract your juice now once you pour the juice on it you can just lift it just to allow the juice to drain into the bowl or if you're not as patient as I am um, you can actually physically press on you know on the tea towel just to allow a uh, quicker extraction of the juice pretty much 
now i really love aloe vera juice guys it's a great great leave-in conditioner it's really moisturizing and your hair will actually stays more uh, stay moisturized for quite a long time as well compared to like you know traditional leave-in conditioner and also it can help grow your hair because aloe vera um has like you know some nice properties in regards to hair growth so once you uh, apply that to your if you apply it to your scalp on a regular basis it can actually increase you know your hair growth so that's why i really love using aloe vera juice um sometimes when i have the time to make it so basically this is what's left on the tea towel so you can actually see how you know there's a lot of debris so that would have got stuck in your hair if you did not do this process so that's why you need to extract it now you got your juice and you're ready to just put it in your spray bottle i transferred it back to the blender just because it will be easier for me to transfer it into the bottle um so yeah just do this pop the lid on and then you're ready to use it as your leave-in conditioner yeah it looks really nice the mixture and this actually stays for quite a long time as well i think the oil helps preserve it so you can keep it for uh, a week or maybe more depending on the temperature of your home so i'm starting here on wash hair guys um my hair has been washed but i didn't get the chance to get around to sealing in the moisture because you know sometimes when you're a mom you have other things like your kids sometimes just you know take over they have priority so um yeah i didn't get around to doing it so i'm doing it now i actually didn't realize that my camera was not recording when i first started so that's why the other side of my head is done and then um the other side is not but i started recording from the beginning but i just didn't know that i wasn't recording so sorry guys um but basically i work on my hair in sections as always so i just undone undid one section and then i'm fingered and i finger detangled it a little bit and then i'm just spraying the leave-in conditioner all over it you know starting from the roots and walking my way up towards my ends so uh like i said you can also spray it on your scalp massage it in just to you know stimulate that hair growth pretty much so after i've done that i'm now going to go ahead and put in my oil now the oil i'm using here is coconut oil i haven't had a chance to make my aloe vera oil i usually um love using aloe vera oil as well guys as the um as the juice um but i haven't had the chance to actually go ahead and make it but i have a video on how to make aloe vera oil if it's something that you're interested in i will link it somewhere up here for you so you can just hit that to go to that video so once i've done that i'm just going to come through just to detangle completely um and then guys when you're detangling your hair you have to make sure that you're very gentle you know don't do it in a rush don't you know take your time to actually sit and detangle your hair because you don't want to end up having um any kind of breakage that is unnecessary so i usually take my time that's what you can see here i'm kind of slow that's just how i like detangling my hair i usually start from my end and then i work my way through the bottom that way it's just easier to get all of the knots and the tangles out so once i've done that i'm gonna go ahead and twist that section away just to keep in the moisture in my hair and then i'm going to repeat on the rest of the hair until it's completely done now don't mind my grays guys i've got so much grays if you're a newcomer you probably have wondered like you know where are all these grays coming from i'm not that old i just have so much grays it's unbelievable um yeah i started having gray hair since i was like 21 and it's never left since you know it started quite mild like it was just maybe like one or two strands of hair that was gray and now it's like you know pretty much all of my hair is gray like the front obviously is more noticeable because at the front but then if you look you know in the hair strands of the back or the middle section of my hair you will definitely find lots of grays there as well um i do try to hide it sometimes so i'll usually use like a hair mascara or like a spray just to like you know cover it up um but sometimes i'm just i'm just not bothered you know i just leave it as it is because you know it is a part of my hair what can i do you know even if i 
remove it like I used to do before because when they were like maybe a couple or three here I used to just pluck them out but then I noticed that every time we pluck them out they grow back grey so it's like you know how often what I mean how long will I be doing that so I just end up just rocking my hair as it is pretty much so um yeah excuse the grays um so yeah basically i'm just like repeating it on the rest of my hair just like you can see here so take the next section repeat the same process so finger detangle a little bit you can see how that section is was really dry and then once you spray the leave-in conditioner on it, it starts the curls start to loosen up a little bit so it's actually pretty good and then yeah don't forget to use your oil just to seal in the moisture and then you need to comb it through and then twist it you know and that's pretty much it so it's quite nice and simple i like to keep things simple guys because sometimes you know the simplest things basically all that we need and you know you don't need to over complicate things to get results um so yeah that's pretty much you know what i do so i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video not finish doing my hair in this video for you guys just because i didn't want to give you another long video i do have quite a lot of hair so it does take quite some time to get through it um but you kind of grasp the concept behind how to apply the leave-in conditioner i showed you how to make um so like i said it's a really nice leave-in conditioner really moisturizing so if you try this out don't forget to leave me a comment just so i know you know how you found it and basically yeah if you liked it so this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much for watching as always don't forget to like the video if you did and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed like i said before i'm so grateful to all of you guys that are newly subscribed to the channel it really means a lot and i pray that god will bless you for the love and the support that you just poured out on me recently so thank you so much i really appreciate you and i hope that you know you keep safe in this crazy season we're all in and then and then yeah i'll catch you in my next video so do take care bye now